I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. There have been a lot of reveals at the Warhammer Fest that's been happening this past week and I want to go over everything but because it's so much I thought the easiest way to do that would be a reactions video where I just go through the trailers and react to what we got revealed. We're gonna start with Warhammer 40k specifically what I hope is the reveal of the new starter box for 10th edition. Let's take a look at our first video. Leviathan! One box! Look at all those sprues. They look like some big things in that. Of course we know Space Marines and Nids. 392 pages, 66 cards, cool. Oh man. Alright, push to fit. Cool. I'm not actually that upset by that. I like the push to fit stuff. Oh, they do look glorious. Okay, June! So we officially know. I restarted the, the video. So we officially know that we're getting the box in June. That is incredibly exciting. Look at, look at the, it looks like a great spread, but I know that there are videos revealing everything that actually is in the box. So we're going to switch over to those next and talk about those videos because I, I want to see in detail. I, I love what we're looking at. I love the fact that we're getting a big, thick core rule book. Um, I think it's got 60 pages in it. I was reading that somewhere else um on one of the other i think articles actually on warhammer community so i think we're getting like 60 pages of rules and then the rest of it is all fluff and lore which is really exciting and i'm expecting some amazing artwork but i want to know more about these miniatures that's what we're all here for so without further ado let's look at the space marines the stars our forces engage the remnants of leviathan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Soon, their foulness will be so but a cool. memory. I know those aren't the miniatures, but... <gasps> Woo! Not a tactical rock, a tactical head. <laughs> you know what? I like that. That is a... That is a... That's funny. <gasps> ooh! Ooh, they're new. Okay, I love the captain, I'm guessing? Captain and, and Terminator armor? We got some flamer boys? Oh, that's a big dreadnought! Oh, it looks... Is it thicker? Like, is it wider than the other ones? If it is, I'm, I'm very excited. Okay, they're looking cool. Those are veterans, I believe? Yes. Yeah, definitely certain genre veterans. We've got our our boy in the Phobos armor. That's That makes sense. And he does look pretty cool, I'll admit. <gasps> Whoa, an apothecary! I didn't know we were getting a new apothecary! <gasps> Apothecary here! I love that. I love that. And our Termies. With the new captain. They're so good. Eee! Amazing. Do they have a- oh, okay, there's a little bit left. Sorry. My bad. Full panning shot! Look at them in all of their glory! Hold on, I want to I want to end on that scene because look at them. Ah, oh! okay. Normally, I'm not actually a huge fan of Space Marines because I find them kind of boring to paint. But I'm really liking, and I want to compliment Games Workshop in their design because I feel like there's a bit more going on with their armor these days. They're not quite as plain and simple as I feel like they used to be. And it makes me a lot more excited to actually get back to painting Space Marines. That Dreadnought, especially in the background. Oh man, I'm very much looking forward to him. Also, is that the, um in the very background with the yellow and red, is that the librarian, the chaplain? Or the... Yeah, it's a librarian terminator, right? So I wonder, is he in the box then? Are we getting ooh, that's really cool. Okay, let's let's exit out of the video because I know that they're gonna show us more stuff in this article. So we've got a Captain and Terminator armor. He looks sick. I love, I do love, and I said this during the video while I was watching it, that I love the not tactical rock, but a tactical like piece of, you know body part of the xenomorph that they have killed of the tyranid and everything so that's great love that slight variation on our um, tactical rock problem love the sword looks fantastic okay we are in fact getting the library librarian terminator armor or terminator as well holy shit like i'm just i'm so excited for this box it's gonna be a big big 
big box. And I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed by it all. Still love him. He's fantastic. We've seen the Phobos guy. Phobos armor is not my favorite, but I admit, I think that this guy is pretty cool looking. I love the element of having, again, the Tyranid, you know, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, trophy. The Tyranid trophy on his shoulder like that. But oh my god, my boy, the Apothecary. I, I love I love healing classes in games. I often play healing classes when I am playing in RPGs. I just really like it. Um, and I just, the Apothecaries to me have always been super rad. I think they're very important to the lore and I just love them. We of course have our Terminators, classic looking. Love how they painted these up. Love the sculpts. I wasn't sure at first how I felt about like these little bits on um, the legs, like those little uh, pistons, I guess they are, but they've grown on me. I, I do think it adds to the model and everything just seems like it's getting a little bit chunkier, which I really, really enjoy. So the, the Terminators are looking awesome. We also got, so Stern Guard veterans. I don't know if these are new sculpts. I think they must be, but I'm not 100% sure, but they do look really good. And I love the, you know, having the cloth there. It just adds a regality to them. And honestly, great for Dark Angels players. Now, these guys, I think, were one of the redacted squads that we saw when we were talking about the lieutenants being able to join units. The Inferna squad. I actually really enjoy the look of this. I think it's just because I really like this gun. I think it looks amazing. I think it's also partially because of the way that they weathered it. It really looks like it's heated up metal. And that just looks really cool to me. So very, very pleased with that. And then, of course, the big boy, the Ballistus Dreadnought. He looks wider to me. And I'm pleased by that. I just, overall, very happy with the Space Marines. But I'm really here for the Tyranids. Because as much as the Space Marines are cool, and I'm excited that they're looking more fun to paint, the Tyranids inherently look more fun to paint. So let's watch this one. Rawr! Oh, whoa, I love it. It looks like a jellyfish. Also, I'm loving the scale. I like that we got a big boy and a little boy that goes with him with an exposed brain. Also, he's got an exposed brain too. So many exposed brains. <gasps> Their mouths are huge! Oh, their asses are just as big. I love him. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look, they're blind. I actually really like that in, in alien designs. They look amazing. That is so terrifying looking. What a honking gun. Okay, we got our Termagants. Ooh, look at the little boys. They're cute. And also creepy, because I would not want a worm like that wiggling towards me. <gasps> okay, these are the Leapers, right? I believe. And then we've got, of course, the Prime. Looking amazing, looking amazing. Is that another big bug? Whoa! Oh, I really love what they're doing with the new Tyranids! You are fantastic, friend. The, the swarm is definitely going to descend. Holy cow. I didn't mean to click out of that. I wanted to end on that screen. Whoop, there we go. Look at them! They look stunning! Okay, I take back what I said. The, tier, the, the Space Marines are got nothing. No, that's not true. They are great. But this excites me so much more. Look at the varying scales of heights of miniatures. I love seeing that in an army. Like when I see an army on a table being run, I like seeing things being varying heights. That just, I don't know, it adds to the feel of everything. And this just looks so... So freaking cool. I love all of these models. Okay, we need to look at more detail. We need to look at more detail. Screamer Killer. Because, what a name. But you know what? He is screaming and he is definitely going to kill those Marines. So I accept it. He looks majestic. Um, Crazy stat line looking like too, honestly. Eight inch movement. Nice, nice, nice. This is the boy. This is the one that I'm most interested in and that I'm definitely the most excited to paint. I want to paint a Neuro Tyrant because this thing looks so cool. I personally find, like, I love the ocean. 
but I also find it incredibly terrifying. And especially when it comes to like deep ocean. And this really is leaning on that deep, aquatic, terrifying element in design. And I love it. It just is so perfect to me. Very, very cool. These boys are also great to me. I really enjoy when you have a like essentially blind uh, creature that uses some other sense in order to track you and kill you violently. And that's kind of what these guys immediately speak to me because they don't have eyeballs. I'm assuming they're scenting everything. And I just really like the sort of doggo design that they have. Also Velociraptory, which just pleases me immensely. Like, and the sculpts are all looking fun. I mean, they're all roughly the same, but they look fun. And I really like this boy here. Um, we have, we've seen the Prime. He's look really cool. I'm kind of disappointed we're not getting an alternate sculpt where we get a spread wing pose like I had hoped. But you know what? That's fine. I'll just have to see if I can paint him with maybe his arms not attached to make it easier because otherwise he's very tight. Some of these models are a little tight. Now, the, the Von Ryan's Leapers we had seen before, but again, they look really cool. Love the energy in all the models. GW is doing a really great job with that. The Termagants we've also seen before, still looking fantastic. I really like these boys too. Like, again, I like the sort of blind look. I love the giant gun and them, them hulking it around and like their hand is kind of melded with it, which is really cool. And then we have the Psychophage. My other favorite of the new nids. This thing is nasty looking. Holy shit, look. Look, I just noticed that he has a Tyranid wrapped in his tentacle tongue that he's slowly drawing into his maw to consume, and I love that. Ah, oh, what a beautiful model. He still has a tactical rock because of course he freaking does. But you know what? I'll forgive that because that butt, look at how big and like juicy it is. I'm really, this is a great combination of the um, Eldritch Horror that you get with Tyranids combined with a little bit of that Nurgle flavoring that I love so very much because this reminds me sort of a, of a Mephetic Blight Hauler, but honestly a little more terrifying because of the giant gaping maw that wants to eat me. Oh, but it is going to be so fun to paint. Now, we have some other things to talk about. It wasn't just this box that they revealed when it comes to Warhammer 40k. We actually got an announcement about some new blind boxes, I believe. And I want to talk about those next because I actually really enjoy Games Workshop's little blind box series that they do for their miniatures. I actually have collected all of the Death Guard one. I actually have two of them, two sets, because the first set that I bought from my friendly local game store uh, had a missing piece on one of the models. So we contacted Games Workshop via the store and they sent me a whole nother box, which was fantastic. So I have two sets of them with only one damaged model. They're fantastic, as I've said like three times now. And I wanna look at these new ones. So we've got a, a what looks like a captain, um, or at least somebody with a power fist, which is really cool. Uh, we've got a couple of voices. We've got uh, the chain sword. I like the grenade throwing. Oh, what a clever way to do that. They've, um. They've attached the grenade smoke to the side of his arm to make it look like he's released it. It's this level of dynamism that I'm really looking for in these models. And I'm so pleased to see that they're actually doing it. I immediately now want to get this set. Ooh, I like the sniper. That's really cool. Really nice job there. So, okay. So it looks like we're getting one, two, three, four, five miniatures. Is it just five in this one? Strike Force Justine. Okay, it does look like it is. No, there are six. There are six miniatures according to the side of the box. One of them must be a, you don't know what this one is, and we're not going to reveal it to you, even though they're clearly showing it there. But I'm looking forward to this. Does this say when it's coming out? Of course not. It's Games Workshop. They just announced it. Why would they tell us when they're releasing it? I'm looking forward to seeing these. To those of you that may be in Japan and maybe get your hands on them early, because I do always think they release the Warhammer Heroes set in Japan well before they do anywhere else. Let me know how they are because these look fantastic and I'm very excited about this. I can't wait for them to hit the states so that I can get them myself. Now, the final thing that I wanted to actually discuss today is the kill team announcement because we got that as well. I have not seen anything about it. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this. Oh, I'm immediately, ooh. Were those Night Sisters? I'm sorry, not Night Sisters. Uh, S Sisters of Silence. I combined it with Star Wars. 
All right, we're hunting heretics. Makes sense. Long have I hunted the servants of the dark Ooh. gods. Yet my age. An inquisitorial force. Not even. Oh damn. Darkest shadows. Oh, I like the cultists. The and we do, we do get some uh, sisters of, of silence. Those who follow me, bring the god emperor's light and vengeance. They're so with cool. Them. Ooh, oh, so a new way to play. Is it a narrative expansion? Got it. Ash, Ashes of Faith. Okay, I'm loving, 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 loving the look of this. Do you have close-ups of your models? There we go. L okay. I'm very pleased that Kill Team continues to excite me with the fact that they are bringing in models in the same way that Underworlds introduces some unique sculpts to Age of Sigmar. They are, in fact, using Kill Team to introduce some unique sculpts to Warhammer 40k. And I love them because who doesn't want an inquisitorial force? I thought this guy had giant scissors at first, and now I realize it's double daggers. I kind of wish it had been giant shears. That would have been, I don't know why he would have had giant shears, but that's what I had hoped was actually coming of that. But no, 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 no. But I do still like him. His robes are fantastic. I really like this guy with his like, he's clearly been lobotomized in some way. Um, fascinating. I love the work that they did on the pants and I love all the details on him. Same thing with this character here. Like this, all this chain work looks fantastic. But this is really where I'm at. I love, I love when they do banners. I love when they do icons. I love when they have like anything that they're carrying around with them to remind them of the emperor or whatever, you know, lord or god that they're worshiping. I love when they do that kind of stuff. That is sick. I also love that insane man with his crazy hair and his like fluffy robes. It's beautiful. Ooh, there's even more. Okay, so we've got, ooh, she's badass. There, like all of these, all of these are good. All of these are good. Of course, we have our main dude who looks fantastic. I love that he just doesn't give a frack about what is happening in front of him. There may be cultists there. He doesn't care. He's really got to jot this thing down. I love that. It's great. Love those. I want to see my cultist boys. All right, so we've got some boys here. That's great. Oh. Ah, oh, do you not have a scrolly thing? How dare you? How come the how come the heroes get a get a scrolly thing with more close-ups but the chaos just get these group photos? Well, whatever. I'm going to enjoy that. That looks stunning. I love the giant swords. I love this Zinchian banner. His head looks like it's about to pop, which is gross. And then we have a bunch of really cool cultists that I think are going to blend in great with the ones that I have from Blackstone Fortress. These might even be... No, I don't think they are. They're, they look different. I think these are different from what we got in Blackstone Fortress, and I'm really pleased with them. I love that dude with the double horn helm. That is great. She's also fantastic with the double horns. Really, just all of these were great. Um, I, I thought this was fantastic. Oh my God. I didn't even see these boys. He's, oh, we did get those previewed. Actually, we have seen these guys before. I just don't know if they're out yet, or maybe this is them being collected into a set for the first time. They are really rad. They are out there in their designs. And I'm really enjoying that. Again, I've said this a bunch, but Games Workshop really playing with their designs and throwing out some slightly more unique models than what you get in your just basic troops kits in these other game systems is to me the absolute best. Because not only does it provide a great opportunity for this new system that people are playing with, this other game that still uses the same models and people can have fun with it, they can build on it, they're supporting it. So I love seeing that. But on top of it, the hobbyist in me is just excited to see a plethora of new fun models to paint. We have more to cover, but we're going to do that in another video. We're going to talk about all of the Age of Sigmar previews and all of that. And I think we even have like Horus Heresy. So there'll be several more reaction videos coming out soon. But I hope that you enjoyed this. And let me know down below what you are most excited for when it comes to Warhammer 40k. Has the Kill Team box got you the most hyped? Or are you really into that Leviathan box that we're getting for 10th edition? For me, I'm actually really torn between both. I think both are incredibly exciting and I'll probably be picking them both up because 
You guys want to see me paint some miniatures, right? Of course you do. Anyways, I have been Angela. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.